If you were hoping to buy a home in Canada, think again. The Canadian government just extended its ban on foreign home ownership for two more years. Officials say it's all about affordable housing. They claim foreign investors, along with the rise in migrants and international students, have priced some Canadians out of the housing market, where prices have increased 36 percent since 2019. Lower interest rates have sparked a surge in buying activity. The Toronto Regional Real Estate Board reports a 37 percent jump in home purchases compared to last year. Canada's finance minister announced that the federal government is taking steps to make homeownership more accessible for Canadians, saying in part, by extending the foreign buyer ban, we will ensure houses are used as homes for Canadian families to live in and do not become a speculative financial asset class. The government claims the ban will alleviate Canada's severe housing shortage, but real estate industry critics argue it's misguided and ineffective. Janice Myers, the CEO for the Canadian Real Estate Association, criticized the move as baseless, saying the newly announced two-year extension is completely unnecessary, considering the fact there is no analysis, evidence or data to support the government's intended impact on housing affordability in Canada. The government's reported aim is to discourage buyers who have no intention of living in the properties. Latest data from Statistics Canada for 2020 shows that non-resident investors own 7% of condominiums in British Columbia. Condos led the growth in British Columbia's housing market, accounting for 54 percent of all new properties. Along with prohibiting foreign nationals from buying property in Canada, the finance minister's office announced on Tuesday a $200 million program aimed at supporting low-income renters and shelters amid soaring rent prices.